Friends and fellow travellers, it's week 10 and we are on the countdown to the end. There are just around 28 days left in the semester until it all wraps up, it's all done and dusted. So we are on the one month out, 28 days earlier to go. So, welcome back, it's week 10. We don't have public holidays this week, so we're back in it and the on-demand lectures it's community and collaboration time. So, for all of you who set out earlier this semester to run a social media platform with the intent of building a community, this is your time to start thinking, how'd that go for you? And have a look at some of the theories, some of the ideas, some of the frameworks we have here to help explain how it worked or maybe how it didn't. Also, the live learning, it's back. Seminars are back on. What we're going to do in the seminars this week is we are all about the rehearsal. So the e-performance review is coming up on the radar in the, what we affectionately refer to as RDS, real damn soon. And we're going to use the live seminars to run a couple of simulations. We're going to teach you how to use the mindset required for the performance review. This isn't about teaching to the exam. This is about ensuring that you get a chance to rehearse, train, ask me some questions, and get a bit of a couple of practice sparring sessions in. Tutorials are going to shoot like they do. A big thank you to everybody for being super enthused on week nine. I know it was a rough week. I know it was a week it was, would have been really easy to disconnect. Had a chat to Alex post class. I have a chat to Alex pre class, uh, and very much appreciated that we had you in one of the heavier ends of assessment tasks. You gave, contributed, and you were there and part of it. So thank you for doing that. Forums. Jeez, it's nice to see the traffic up. Uh, I do have two dedicated threads set aside to answer questions about either the portfolio or the performance review. I've had a couple of questions about the ePortfolio. Uh, basically, the quick reminder, on the Waddle site, we have my expectations video. We have my expectations Word document. That Word document has the marking rubric. But the task itself has a very specific goal. And that goal is to present you with an authentic workplace situation. And that is, you have been handed keys to a platform. It is not your first choice and not your preferred platform. You have been tasked by your manager, being played this time by me, to create a website within this platform, within the ePortfolio platform, create a website and the website has some things that I'd like to see on it. I'd like to see a uh, narrative. I'd like to see some reflective stuff. I'd like to see a bit of a start and finish profile. Again, you've been tasked to do something, but you've been given an open-ended task, which is very similar to the sort of situation you will find yourself in a workplace environment where the boss walks in and says, uh, we've got a website, and um, listen, you're the social media intern. What we need is, can you populate it? And uh, look, we're going to give you a couple of weeks, but uh, no budget. Sorry, yeah, just time. Uh, but you don't need a budget. You're young, you're youth. Just, you know, duh, do a TikToky thing or something. I don't know, you know, you handle it. And that's it. That's what your guidance go on. That's it, done. So on the portfolio, one of the additional things I will say is... The challenge is also to be able to wrangle the ePortfolio software in a way that you are happy with the content you're creating. So you can make it as a website, you can make it as a diary, you can make it as, you know, covers a number of weeks, does all the big high points, tells a narrative story, scroll of doom, supplemental sidebars, choose your own adventure, you can embed video, you can embed audio, you can embed graphics, you can just make it a really long text thing. You might have noticed I like words. I also want to see you. 
I want to see your presence. I want to see you look at this and go, all right, Steve, here's how it's going to go. My show, my way, welcome to my portfolio. And when I log into that to market and I see that presence, I'm looking for the telepresence. I'm looking for, the, for your personality to shine through that portfolio. So that's what I'm after there. And yes, it is difficult because it's worth 40 points. If it was worth less, it would be easier, but it also wouldn't get the job done of getting you to look back on the journey. It's 40 points because it covers from that last moment just before you hit the submit button right back to when you first walked in, when you first logged into the course, logged into the LMS and said, despite everything that's in this Waddle site, I'm staying. Or because everything's in this Waddle site, I'm staying. It's your journey. It's your story. I'd love to hear. And I'm looking forward to this. I This is something I'm genuinely... Look, I talk about the hype-up things. I talk about stuff. You know me by now that I really do bounce around the place super excited about stuff. And marketing is one of the things... One of the reasons I'm in the business is to be able to work with cohort after cohort of students, doing assessment tasks, giving you feedback, reading the ideas that you've got, and working with you to train up, to skill up, and to be able to say, this is who you are. So this is what I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a month to go. It's kind of like the advent calendar of marking for me. I've got 28 days until it counts down. Bang, it's marking time. So I'm keen, I'm excited. But between now and then, I also have uh, some additional toys to play with. So let's talk about the run home. It is week 10. We have a few weeks left and a lot of things to, be to happen. Weeks 10, 11, and 12. There are three weeks of seminars, live seminars left. So you've got three chances. Uh, th rather, you have three more seminars to work with to create that impact to be there in the voice, to be there in the text chat, to be there for each other in the breakout rooms. You have the tutorials, you have three more of those, you have the chance to be part, to be present, to engage and to make an impact. You got the Padlets, there's all 12 of them, but you got three fresh ones coming up. And a big shout out to everyone for, who was in uh, week nine's Padlet, really did appreciate. And one of the things I've been really loving about this is, it's another way for me to hear your voice. It's another way for me to be able to get that loop. And when in week eight, someone said, hey, where's the feedback on the, you know, you haven't done the feedback on participation and engagement. I was like, whoops. But also the fact that you know, we did the participation and engagement feedback loop and it's there and active and if you haven't seen it, it's in the week nine site. It's in an assessment item there. Waddle should have notified you. If you didn't get a notification, go check what email address your Waddle notifications are being sent to or whether you switched off all those things. Because if you have, switch them back on. They're useful. But you got, basically on that board, there are nine more opportunities. Three by three. That's what's up there to score. Now, I mentioned the participation. Feedback. Why? aim to do with the feedback. I know I'm the hyperkinetic geek excited mode at the moment because <sighs> this is the most wonderful time of the academic year for me. The aim behind the participation, you didn't get a grade, you didn't get a mock grade because there isn't a grade to be calculated yet. You got access to the opportunity list and a rough assessment about whether you were in there and being part of it whether you were using it, and how you were tracking. Now I had a few, I've got a bit of a, a manual algorithm behind the scenes. I'm not big on artificial calculated algorithms. I'm big on uh, using my professional judgment, professional assessment. So I pulled together a bunch of different numbers. I pulled together a bunch of different data and I made some appraisals as to whether the opportunities were in use, whether they weren't in use. That was dead easy. There was no no discernible footprint. You hadn't used this opportunity, and you could. It's still there. But the other reason why there's no grade is that it ain't over until it's submitted. You still 
are in the hunt. You're still in the game. You ain't gone until the three count referee holds up some other bloke's hand. That's how long. You're in this right until that final bell. So don't rule yourself out. Don't write yourself off. Be present. Be part of it. And equally, those of you who got a, a hey, job well done, job going well, that doesn't secure you victory. You are not a guaranteed a place in the playoffs. You can Melbourne storm your season just as easily as you can Penrith it. So stay in the game. Stay live. Last DLC round. Get Hype Challenge. Thank you for coming back on board. And yes, I am absolutely thrilled to bits to have loaded up the site to have seen the Get Hype Challenge go live, to see content coming in. This, this actually means a lot. One of the things that I wanted to do with this subject, and one of the things that makes e-marketing different to the rest of the places, we ain't standard issue, we know that. We ain't a standard issue, of course. I'm no kind of metrics, I'm no management, principles of management. There's a bunch of stuff I've experienced as an e-marketer in my 20 years. There's a bunch of stuff I did as an undergrad years ago, 20, 30 years ago, 30 years ago. And there's a bunch of stuff that I want to give you the opportunity to be able to do. And that content creation, that confidence in being able to pull together some content and chuck it to an audience, that experience, building up those elements, that's something precious. Because that's something I got to do, and I was exceptionally lucky. I was the editor of a student union newspaper back in 1994. I got to learn Photoshop. I got to learn layout. I was a bunch of those skills are dead now because we're no longer a print medium. But I got to learn, and then I got to be able to move on to those next. I got to be able to go from printing things out and making things from paper into making websites, into making forums, into making videos. I had a chance to practice, to rehearse, and to do things in safe environments where it didn't matter if things blew up, things went wrong, stuff happened. That's what the DLC round, the principle about it is. Give it a go because it matters, but it matters in a way that's not going to be high risk. So very, very pleased to have my hype challenges up. Yeah, um, just, yeah, huge, huge thank you to everyone involved. Uh, and front end logos, we've only got a few spaces left. There's only five spaces left, I think, uh, including I've come back, I'm coming back with a front end logo for the last couple of weeks because I had a couple of images I looked at recently and went, yeah, I want to use those. So it's not just, uh, it, we will cover to the end. We'll have everything in play. Now, last thing I want to say, knowing that this is one of the longer videos, but let's talk close out, because this is the last, we're starting the last dance. Assessment item number three, e-performance review. It is coming in 22nd of October at the midnight. The reason it closes on the midnight is I want you to seal off the EPR then and there. When it's in, that side of the assessment is over until you get your feedback. When you get your feedback, you will then be given, you will then clearly have one of two paths. You will have the opportunity to contest for the power play, or you will be coming back, most likely you will be coming back for a, uh, the last chance alarm. So either you're going to be up for the power play or you're up for the last chance alarm. I am reserving that weekend. Now, due to our, well, due to the circumstances in the world going to the hell in the handbasket, I moved other deadlines. I'm holding this one, so make it please. And I say please because when this lands, I start marking, and when I get through the marking, it's I'm activating as much of a barrier between me and my due date as I can, I'm pushing back as hard as I can against my last, everything has to be submitted due date, 
but I'm also trying to create as much space for you as I can. So I will turn this around as fast as I can, give you the best feedback that I can do in that scenario so that you can act on it. And you can either act on the go forward or the recovery. So to the best of your ability, don't miss that date. If you know it's absolute, absolutely cactus and you can't make it, the trade is that you are going, you can have an extended deadline, but you are going to have to sacrifice the power play and you're going to have to sacrifice the resubmission because I don't have the window of opportunity to extend that and give you an extension on the other two. It's just not there. Uh, the ANU has moved a couple of deadlines back and created a bit more space for me in certain areas, but not in this one, not in the performance review. I don't have the window. Now, participation and engagement. Uh, 1st of November, midday, five minutes past midday on the 1st of November, no later than, please. But basically, when you hit the end of week 12 and you go, yeah, I'm done. I, I, I feel like I've done, I feel like I've contributed. Go to the participation and engagement assessment task and hit the submission button. I've created that task because I need somewhere to put your feedback. I need somewhere to put your score, somewhere for where I can go and give you your appraisal and your evaluation so that 20 marks is real and that 20 marks is visible to you. So I did my test run as well. Uh, that's the other reason I gave you that performance review the way I did and your performance feedback and participation and engagement came through the same type of assessment object that I'm going to use for the final round. So please, life's going to be so much easier for me if you press that button. Individual reflective reviews, the portfolio, that one banks on the 8th. Notably, your participation and engagement wraps up a week before your individual reflective review. This is why I have absolutely no window to extend the performance review, is that I want to give you the opportunity to see what your participation and engagement score is before you finalize your portfolio. I want you to have everything that is in that assignment deck, everything that's not the reflective review, done and dusted before in a time for you to be able to process that knowledge and that information to slot it into your reflective review. 40 marks now. I will spend the Monday fixing the problems that arise but in advance I'm going to tell you now and I'll remind you for several more times you submit the portfolio through Wattle, and there's an assessment item in Wattle that you use to submit. If you don't submit it through the portfolio, because the system's really badly designed, which is why I'm getting you to use it. So, we know that's on the play, we know that's in hand. The power play and the last chance salon will get their own treatment when we get to that point. But basically, the important things for us right now is we are on the road home. It is, there are countdown timers now available telling you how long you've got until deadlines. That countdown timer set are now on the Waddle site. We have a whole 28 days from the point of time of recording this video, so less than you've heard it now, to get this done, dusted, and to, you know, bring it all into effect, make it all happen, but the big thing is, look, you're ready to do this. We've been training you. You've been training with me. I've been pulling up these opportunities and these access points and these skill sets have been in development, scaffolding it up, ramping it up, getting it ready so that when you come home, when you are on that last sequence and it is performance review, bonus level, performance and engagement, e-portfolio, done. You're ready. So, get excited, get hyped, and uh, 
Well, if you ain't keen, then you ain't a marketing machine. And a uh, big thank you to the Hype Up crew. Archie, cheers, mate.